today we will be adding links to our main navigation buttons as well as adding links to our text and we'll test all of the links we just created in our browser. First though I'm going to show you how to edit your main navigation bar. So to edit our main navigation let's go to insert image objects navigation bar and it will ask you if you want to edit the existing one we'll press OK. OK now we can modify the navigation bar we'll go down to the last few buttons and let's change keyword help and let's make that come before after effects so I'm going to select keyword help and I'm going to move it up one now by prioritizing the buttons and moving keyword help up a level that will basically put the button in where the after effects button used to be so it will appear first along our navigation bar and as you can see the After Effects button is the last uh, rollover button image that we have. So I'm going to preview it in the browser, save the changes and here it is. Okay so the button has changed over, it's now before After Effects and the rollover image is working correctly and all the links are in place. Okay let's go back to Dreamweaver and let's get started with part 5 of the tutorial and we'll be adding links. First we'll be adding links to our main navigation bar. So let's create a few blank HTML documents that we can add text and links to. So we'll go to File New and we're going to select a blank page HTML and click Create. So I'm going to place my cursor inside Design View and I'm going to type Dreamweaver Tutorials. As I type the text you'll notice that it will also appear in the split code view. Okay so I'm going to highlight the text and I'm going to turn it into a heading 1 uh, just to make it a little bit bigger for you to see. So I'm going to go down to format, heading 1 and there you go. Right let's go up and create a new blank HTML document. File new, blank page, press create. It should all be the same settings as before and for this one we're going to type in fireworks tutorials and I'm also going to highlight that and go to format heading one and make that a little bit larger and let's create one more HTML blank document we'll go to new blank page press create okay so let's zoom in a little bit and let's have a look inside the body tag I'm going to type it in manually so let's put in a h1 header tag and I'm going to type in there SEO and that will be for search engine optimization now as you go to type the ending of the header it will come up automatically with a suggestion just press enter and it will insert the end of the header tag you can see that the text has also been created in design view OK, we're going to save all of our HTML blank documents and we're going to go to File, Save. Now those of you who followed the previous tutorial, Part 4, we're going to save it next to our index.html, the file we created in the last tutorial. So I'm going to type in for the file name seo.htm and then I'm going to click Save. OK, so once you've done that, let's get rid of seo.htm and we're going to say fireworks tutorials and we'll go to file save and type in fireworks make sure you put the extension on for htm.htm and click save and we'll get rid of that one as well and we'll go to Dreamweave tutorials a html page for that and we'll go to file save I'm going to call this one dreamweaver.htm and then I'm going to click save. Okay, so now we've done that, we should find that all of our htm documents, our blank pages are at the bottom of our site route and there they are. Okay, let's get rid of Dreamweaver Tutorials blank page and let's start creating our links. Click on your Dreamweaver button or whatever button you've got first and we'll go down to our Properties Inspector. From our Properties Inspector we'll be able to create links in a couple of different ways. Um, I'm going to show you two different ways we can do that. First things we can see inside our Property Inspector is the width and height of the button. The source image uh, shows there in the source uh, dialog box 
and the link button which is where we're going to put our links in for this page now what you can do is you can either type in the link so for instance to put a link to our Dreamweaver page we could type in dreamweaver.htm or HTML uh, but we're not going to do it that way what we're going to do is we're going to grab the points of file icon we're going to click on it and we're going to drag it over to our dreamweaver.htm file and once you're there you can release now that's a great time saver it's automatically created the link for us so we don't have to type anything at all so let's preview that in the browser go up to the globe icon and save the changes to your index so when I roll over the button you'll see down in the bottom left hand corner that it has created that link for us so I'm now going to click on the button and as you can see there's the text that I typed earlier Dreamweaver Tutorials so let's go back and again you'll see as I roll over the image it shows in the bottom left hand corner so what we're going to do now is create our other two links to our other two pages so now back in Dreamweaver we'll click on the fireworks button that we created previous and we're going to go down we're going to click on the points file icon and we're going to drag that over to our fireworks.htm file and as you can see the link has been created now so we've just got one more button to um, amend and we'll go to the SEO button and I think we'll type this one in manually so place your cursor inside the link box and type in seo.htm and then either click away or press enter okay so all of our links should have been created now so let's go to our browser and preview our index file and let's click on SEO and it appears and it's fine looks great okay so let's hit the back button on the browser and let's test out our next button click on the fireworks button and you'll see that fireworks tutorial comes up as well okay well that was pretty simple to do let's take it to the next level and start putting our links into our text so go back into your root directory select the seo.htm file and click and open that up now what you can do is start typing in some text and we'll we'll highlight a portion of that text and we'll create a link from that text to another page so I'm going to type SEO is good but you should check out our fireworks tutorials okay so I'm going to highlight that text now fireworks tutorials and I'm going to create a link from just those two words okay so go down into your properties inspector click on the point to file icon and drag that over to fireworks.htm because we're in seo.htm and we're going to link to that page fireworks tutorials okay the link's been created let's close this file and save the changes and we're going to open up our fireworks.htm file so if you move your mouse into the root directory click on fireworks.htm and we're going to type in fireworks tutorials are great but check out Dreamweaver now once you type that out let's highlight Dreamweaver the word on its own and we'll go down to the properties inspector and we'll create a link over to dreamweaver.htm so we'll click on the points file icon drag it over to the site route and we'll release it on dreamweaver.htm or .html now if we've done this correctly we should have linked all of our pages together so save that file and let's preview the whole thing in our browser so we'll preview the index go up to the globe icon save the changes and let's test out these links. So I'm going to click on SEO. That's come onto the page. SEO is good, but you should check out our fireworks tutorial. Let's click on that link. Fireworks tutorials are great, but check out Dreamweaver. Let's click on that link now. And there we go, Dreamweaver tutorials. So all our links are working correctly. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this linking tutorial. Um, join me in part six, where we'll be adding content and images to our Dreamweaver template. See you then.